can't help but be a little amused by the president's comments about immigration in his State of the Union address, and uh, also a little hopeful. Uh, his, uh, his comments were uh, very vague. Uh, he, he, he was afraid to use the, the words comprehensive immigration reform. He was afraid to even use the word reform. Didn't say legalization. Didn't say bring out of the shadows. About the only buzzword he used was uh, our broken immigration system. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that he tried to make that sentence uh, in such a way that, that the pushers of amnesty would feel like he was backing them. Uh, but um, overall, what I saw is he would rather talk about almost anything, including gays in the military, than about comprehensive immigration reform, about putting uh, uh, 7 million illegal aliens into permanent legal jobs or increasing uh, more foreign workers in the country. That's good news for us. And, and it's a tribute to all the millions of Americans who have worked with Numbers USA and other groups over the last year, uh, just pounding the White House. Uh, about uh, turning away uh, from amnesty. Uh, that doesn't mean that that I'm <laughs> that I'm uh, feel like we're home free. We're, we're going to have to keep our uh, our antenna up. But the thing that's so disappointing about this speech is that it was supposedly focused primarily on jobs, and the president said jobs are our number one focus. When he brought up immigration, it was way down at the bottom of the speech. Uh, in a kind of a civil rights section. And that's the problem, isn't it? We can't get the president, we can't get the Democratic congressional leaders, we can't even get the Republican congressional leaders to understand immigration policy is about jobs. Uh, of course, I didn't really expect him to say anything about the 7 million illegal aliens holding construction, service, manufacturing, transportation jobs. But the fact is, he said early on, this economy has lost 7 million jobs. That means 7 million Americans have been put out of work that were working a couple years ago. And yet, if he would just have proposed mandatory verify, 7 million jobs currently held by illegal aliens could open up for 7 million unemployed Americans. That would be such an easy, such a cheap way uh, to solve the problem. When you consider that how concerned he is about expanding the budget deficits, how concerned he is, or he said he was, about putting Americans back to work, mandatory verify would be such a great proposal. But his ideology and the ideology of most leaders in Washington makes it impossible to see. That's why we're going to have to continue uh, to mobilize uh, all of you who look to Numbers USA uh, for faxes and phone action alerts, as well as a lot of new alerts to our state uh, legislatures. Uh, we're going to continue to mobilize, put the pressure on, and even if the feds don't do anything, we may be able to get many more states to adopt mandatory e-verify. Thirteen states already have some kind of e-verify law. Uh, let's, let's spread that out all across the country.